I'm in Somerville. And in this video, the topic is going to be the classification of systems of systems or a discussion of the, the different types of, of system of system which can be created. The first person to talk about this was a, a system of systems engineer called Meyer and he classified systems into three categories. These categories were directed systems of systems, collaborative systems of systems and virtual systems of systems. Now by this uh, he took into account the ways in which the systems of systems were governed. And I'll, I'll come back to this idea of governance shortly. A directed system is one where all of the constituent systems within a system of systems are owned and managed by the same organisation. Now that's important because it means that there can be a single policy maker about the system so that the organisation can make top-down decisions about functionality and where that functionality is to provide to be provided within the system of systems. That doesn't mean there's a single manager for all of the systems. The independent systems may be independently managed within the organisation. Meyer's notion of a collaborative system of systems is one where the systems are created by independent organisations but there is a, a discussion amongst these organisations as to how these systems of systems will be managed. So that there is a, an overall policy making board that decides on the management. This model of a system of systems is a, is a looser and weaker model. The management board can't simply say we will make this change in system X because that has financial consequences for the organisation running the system, it takes longer to make decisions and there much, must be much more discussion around decisions on the evolution of the system. Meyer's final classification was what he called a virtual system of systems. A virtual system of systems is a system of systems where the, the systems cooperate but there is no overall governance to that to the system of systems. There's no board making policy about the system of systems, how it might evolve, how, how it should change, how it should be operated and so on. The fundamental distinction between these different models of systems of systems is the governance. And what governance means is the ways in which the policies for the use, the operation and the evolution of the systems of systems are decided. The governance body sets the overall aims and objectives but they're not involved in the everyday management of the system and that's the difference between governance and management. Governance is about aims and objectives Management is about how these aims and objectives are realised within the system of systems and within the individual systems making up the system of systems. Fundamentally, I agree with Meyer's classification of system of systems, but I don't like the terms that he used. I don't think they're intuitive. I think they're potentially confusing. The term virtual has come to mean something completely different than what he suggests. So I, I suggest we use different terms for these different types of system so that a directed system of systems is an organisational system of systems. A collaborative system of systems should be thought of as a federated system of systems. And a virtual system of systems should be thought of as a coalition of systems. In an organisational system of systems, the key characteristic is that the governance and the management are within the same organisation or company. So that essentially the management can be directly instructed to implement the governance aims and objectives. An example of such an organisational system systems might be an e-procurement system in a large company that integrates uh, an asset management system 
an accounting system and an ordering system. A federated system of systems is a system where there is an overall governance body, but membership of this is, a, is voluntary. It depends that, that those involved choose to become part of the overall system of systems. So that's a, a looser type of model of governance than in an organisational system of systems. An example of such a federated system would be a system for emergency or disaster management, which brings together individual systems from emergency services such as fire, police, ambulance. And a coalition of systems is a system of systems where there is no formal governance mechanism. That is, the individual systems are informally managed. In reality in those systems it's rare for there to be no management co collaboration but the managers of the system come to informal arrangements as to how they will collaborate within the system of systems. An example of a coalition of systems would be a, an intercompany stock trading system where individual trading systems belonging to different companies deal directly with each other. In this diagram, we see these three classes of system, organisational, federated and coalition. And we see how the relationship between the governance and the management differs. In each case they have three systems involved but they are managed in different ways because of the governance model. In the case studies that I introduced in, in chapter one, one of the systems I talked about was a digital learning environment which I called iLearn which provides support for students on a range of learning activities. This was designed as a system of systems. Although the learning environment itself is a relatively simple system, it has to integrate with other systems concerned with network management and with school administration. These differ from one part of the country to another. What we have here is a coalition of systems. There is no common governance policy for all of these different network management and administration systems that are involved. In summary then, we can think of three types of system of systems. Organisational systems, where there is a, a single governance body that can control the system. Federated systems, where the governance involves voluntary participation. And coalitions of systems, where there's no central decision policy making body. <laughs>